September 1st, early morning, quite cold. I didn't put any lettuce out last night. Nobody was out. And the last couple days, um, whenever I put it out in the morning, there's very little interest in it. They're just moving. This here is Spotify again. I think it was two, maybe three days ago. Um, Spotify was right in this area, not interested in eating, nor was the partner that Spotify was crawling over, but didn't seem to be interested. What's fascinating is I've never seen this before. Right here. Two of them doing it right here. And this is in full sun. And I, I was out last night, night, nobody was here, so this is something, and it, it takes longer, at least in the past, it's take, taken close to a day before they leave each other. So, I don't know, whereas today it looks to me like a totally blue sky, which is why it's so cold out here right now. There were no cl clouds holding in the heat. So, I don't know, Spotify. Whether Spotify tried to get in on what's happening down below there and failed again. Here you can see the, um, oh, let me move back. You can see the characteristic bird flying up over the mountain or the waves at Spotify. And then these two down here. Michael is coming out to join me now. This is a moment when both tubes are available to see as they're gradually pulling apart. Look at that. This is the best view I've seen yet. And I'm so glad they're getting business finished before the sun actually hits here. What do you think, Michael? Pretty damn cute. Yeah, do you know what time it is? Uh, about 10 15 okay okay wow neither one of them have their antennae out but if I make too much of a presence they'll look around and I don't want to disturb them but good to see you're getting getting done with business but yeah there is there are some clouds, you can't see them here. That's definitely the marine fog moving high in, and it's still very cool here. So maybe the humidity was just, you know, the humidity was high enough that you knew it would be okay. That you can sense that humidity here. I'll get, I'll get another angle right from here. It's about 10.30 now, and the wind has come up a little bit because the clouds are, marine clouds, definitely, it's cold, are breaking up. You can see there, there's sunlight over on the east-facing side there to the west of me. So I think it's just a matter of time before these two break apart. Six minutes have gone by. The wind is really picking up. The low marine clouds are really streaming over here. And look at, we've already got some sunlight down at that part of the deck. And yeah, look at the, the wind really 
cooking up here. So pretty soon these folks are going to have to bid farewell to nature's bliss. It's 11.30 now and things haven't changed. But here's where the sun is, so they're going to have to get on the move pretty quickly. Look at it, it's right next to me here. Yeah, but they're still in the shade. Eight minutes later, it's 11.38, the sun just struck here. And I do not see any anxious need to change here. So let's see, despite the sun, they look to me like they're in the same position as they were. Yep, there they are. Must be about 10 minutes later. My observation earlier may not have shown this, but definitely the lower tube is no longer as big and white as the upper is. It's getting more back to a yellow color. My sense is that the slug that is has the top position there, that the lower tube, the one that's more yellow, is its tube entering the lower slug here. And that the white tube is coming from the slug uh, that's on the bottom here, and it's entering the slug that's on the top there. That's my sense. I hope I catch the moment when they let go. Yeah, it's definitely a change and that lower one seems to be done with whatever it's doing or maybe just finishing off what it's doing. But I'm hoping something will happen while I'm still out here. Oh, interestingly enough, see there happens to be a bit of shade from the conifer tree way up the hill there, even though um, there's sun, there's sun alongside here, but we've got a little bit extra shade, so that may be important. I'm in the sun, but they're not, fortunately. And look at how loopy. There's a, like a loop there of the upper tube. The lower tube is really darker, just regular yellow, thinner, and contracted. So my sense is, is that I won't see them pull apart. What will happen is that they'll actually come together and then retract in that way. It's just that the lower tube is done earlier than this upper tube, so as the, er, or younger, uh, the lower tube there from contracts, the upper tube ends up having to loop a bit like that. We'll see. The exit is taking place, but it looks like I was wrong. It looks like it's the um, top slug that is the one that had the top tube, the tube on top. So it looks to me like that's, and I think the lower one is com completely gone now. I'll, I'll take a, I'll take a close view. 
Okay, things have changed in here. The, the one on the bottom seems like it could stay there all day, but it's totally in the shade. Um, the top one, whoa, what's happening there? The top one has its head out and it looked like it was, it was moving its mouth parts across the side of that lower one. Whoa, what's that? Here's how things have changed. It's, it's really the top one that's adjusting around. I have no idea what's going on, but all I know is that it's getting really warm up here. Fortunately, the, the shade of one of the rails has, has come in now, and so there's still some sunlight on the back of the top one, but not as much as there had been. I'm just determined to be able to see because I cannot tell whose tube belongs to whom. But the antennae are out, actually the tentacles with the eye stalks, and over here, not much. That characteristic triangular thing is, is things I've seen before laid on in a mating pair, so I don't know what that is. Michael decided to rescue them, put them in some shade. I was going to let nature take its course, but God, Michael, I pay, play. God is Connie enough in terms of food. So I don't know how desperate that one on top is anymore. But I really can't, uh, given the positions they're in now, I really cannot see anything except the upper tube. Um, there, I have no idea what else is going on. There are no eye tentacles out anymore of either one of them. So, I'm, I'm, my best guess is that Michael's putting a shade on them helped calm things down. But again, I cannot tell if there's a lower pipe there yet anymore. I see that there's still both tubes there, and the one on top looks even, even fuller again. I'll take a view from above, but I just wanted to show that both tubes are still there. It's 2.20 right now, and I look carefully, both of the tubes they'll look like they're in full force down there. And everybody's quiet. They don't have their antennae out like they're worried about anything. And uh, I'll keep the shade on them the whole time and I'll keep watch. Because here's the shade. It's a map, road map. Blows around a bit, but I got two big rocks there on top. So the slugs can take their time. It's, it's actually quite cool in this breeze, quite a breeze here now. It's 312 and we're back to that healthy looking loop again. It's almost 5.30. It's about a half hour since I checked them, and so I'm, I missed the end. Last time I looked, it was still just a really, looked like a strong connection. So, the big one uh, that I think, well, the one that ended up on the uh, top area, I'm pretty sure that was its tube um, that I have seen the longest. And then this is the smaller one with the spots. I'll put a little lettuce there for them and see if they're interested. A 
Yes, the large one seems to be interested in the inside of a cucumber. Very moist, might be interested just in the moisture rather than the food value because they were out for a long time. That's the end of this six-part California Banana Slugs video project. Again, I recorded that during three or four months of the summer of 2020. And this weekend, it's February 2021, Super Bowl weekend, and I have chosen to do the full editing of this slug series this weekend instead. I doubt if I'll get a chance to see banana slugs ever in the flesh again. Uh, my husband and I have moved back to Michigan, the place where I was born, but I will forever remember the beauty of the redwood forests, even the regrowth redwood forests, where we were privileged to live for two summers, actually. But here, thinking about banana slugs again, what amazing creatures. Signing off as your nerdy naturalist, Connie Barlow, May the forest be with you, and may the redwood forest remain with the banana slugs.